Welcome to Picture Book Chat, where we feature a handful of new picture books each month and discuss what makes them great. Whether you're a parent, caregiver, or teacher, you're bound to find some wonderful reading suggestions from librarians Mary Ellen Brax and Sherry Boggs. Hi, welcome to Picture Book Chat. I'm Mary Ellen, and with me today is Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Mary Ellen. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? I'm ready to talk about some picture books. Yes, I am too. Well, we have our first one here, Ten Little Squirrels, um, by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson. And yes, another Bill Martin Jr. book. So I'm very excited. When I picked this one out, I thought it was Eric Carle, and I just this moment realized it's a different <laughs> illustrator because it's got that very It's Eric very Carle similar. Look. Yeah. Very similar look. So yeah, so this one is a great one for um, little ones, so especially like toddlers um, and young preschoolers. And it's an old counting rhyme that they've adapted. And so it's got these bright, colorful pictures um, with just um, a few words on each um, page. Ten little squirrels played by a tree. The first one said, look what I see. Um, so it's rhyming text. It's got the counting in it. Um, so, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's um, going to be great for that toddler age group. And the pictures are just spectacular. I love this layered art look. Yeah, it, I, yeah, it looks like it's photographed, and it probably is in places. I just I love all the textures that are going on. and Yeah. I, I think, like, craft-wise, you could do some really fun stuff with it mm -hmm. after reading it if you right. want an extension activity. Right. And this one, too, I um, it's like the first one said, the second one said, so it's working with ordinal numbers. Mm -hmm. And the third one said... So instead of one, two, three, four, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, so a little different take on that. So that's mm -hmm. why I think it would also be good for preschoolers, too. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, just gorgeous illustrations. And um, and they get, you know, time for some fun by the time they end. And you can make the animal noises with this one. And then you can count everything on the last page, which I really enjoyed um, being able to do too with the kids. Um, and then there's squirrel facts Very at the important. end. So you've got your nonfiction built right into this one. So really, um, another reason why it would work well for preschoolers as well as toddlers. Um, so yes, I, I love this one. Do you think a squirrel would be a good pet? What do you think your toddlers and preschoolers would say? And then it says, squirrels are considered wildlife and it's illegal to keep one as a pet. So, you know, just something <laughs> to, yeah, that, yes. Um, but yeah, just a fun um, counting book, which is always good for kids to be working on their numbers and help them get ready for kindergarten. It's a good one. I you already talked about this, but I do. I love the bigness of the illustrations. Yes. Um, you know, I know our story time librarians and staff are always looking for something with like mm -hmm. a really big illustration that toddlers can see from. Yeah. A little bit away, and I mm -hmm. I'm glad that we've got this, so we can recommend that to them. Yes. Yes, it'll work perfect for story time in our bigger groups. Yeah. Great. So, yes, very happy to see this one. Also, if you're interested in ordering the book, we have the ISBN number here where you can Perfect. just scan it and order Find it, it in our catalog. Yeah, find it in our catalog. That's great. All right. Okay. Our next one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mr. Kitty is Lost. Um, so this is by Greg Pizzoli. He's done a bunch of books. I think mm -hmm. he did that pizza one yes. not long mm -hmm. ago. Yes. Um, I love this little Snoopy dog on the cover. Mm -hmm. I love all this activity. It makes you immediately want to get into the book and find out what's going on. And cutouts. Who doesn't yeah, want Yeah, I know. Can you help me find him? Have you seen Mr. Kitty? He is hiding somewhere inside of this book. Bark, will you turn the pages and help me look? So right away, you've got this interactive mm -hmm. dynamic. And this is a counting one, too. It also does your colors. Mm -hmm. um, so Mr. Kitty has five yellow spots. Do you see five yellow spots? And I, I love that your little dog mm -hmm. is barking each one as he counts. Yeah. And I love this. <laughs> that is not <laughs> Mr. Kitty. That is five yellow snakes. So I think 
I wish this was a little bit bigger, like to mm -hmm. read with groups, but I just love that this is hilarious and like you can't mm -hmm. really guess what's going to happen next. So I yeah. think preschoolers are going to lose their minds over this book. Yeah, they're going to love that too. Do yeah. you see what's next? Yes. Mr. Kitty has four orange paws. Do you see four orange paws? Let's see what it is. That is four yeah. orange monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> So I yeah. just think this is a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. I love that it's interactive. These little cutouts are fascinating. Mm -hmm. I hope they hold up to library use. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> little fingers get yeah. in there. Um, so just a ton of fun. What did you think of this one, Mary Ellen? I love this one, too. And I like the tactile experience, too. Mm -hmm. So they can count and they can feel the yellow dots as they count. And the fact that it deals with five because they really want kiddos to know five really mm -hmm. well when they start kindergarten. Um, so, yeah, and the fact that the dog barks each time, the number of times, I think is great. And, you know, I... <laughs> <laughs> I and I love the ending. <laughs> the ending is awesome too. So, um, oh no, Mr. Kitty has, and then they go, and then they count backwards, which mm -hmm. I really liked in this one too. And then let's go home, Mr. Kitty. But where is my dog? Oh no, that face. I yes. Love that face. Uh -oh. Um. So yes, this one is really cute. Also, and even the back. Uh oh, Mr. Kitty is missing. And so um, they got the dog sniffing around for it on the back cover, too. So, yes. Yeah, this is a good one. I Everything Greg Pizzoli does, I mm -hmm. like. But, like, <laughs> this one I just love. I feel yeah. like it's one of the best things he's ever done. Yeah. Um, so great fun. I... I'm going to double check our holdings and I might order more just because I think all of our libraries should have this one. Yeah. And I see that he has good night owl and the watermelon seed too. Yeah. So, so there are some other books. If your kids enjoy um, this one, then yeah, don't, don't hesitate to look for the other books in our library catalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can see this ISBN, but it's right there. Yes. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. my favorite. <laughs> yes. The next one we have is The Three Billy Goats Graph, and it's retold by Mac Barnett. Um, and it's a, a really imaginative um, retelling. Mm -hmm. I really like the way it turns out. Beautiful end papers here. I really like the illustrations here. And so this one would be for older kids. Um, so um, this would be your kindergarten, first grade type, maybe an older four, but I would read it first yeah. before you do it, but um, before you read it. But, um, you know, it's about a troll living under a bridge and the billy goats are trying to trick him. And so um, it's, it's got some humor to it. Um, but it's got a lot of problem solving in it. So you get the first billy goat and the billy goat's like, ooh, well, really? Please, no, you don't want to eat me. There's hardly any meat in my bones. If you let me cross, I'll tell you a secret. Soon my big brother will come this way. And so he convinces the troll to let him go across, you know, just as in the original um, telling. And then... Um, the troll chuckles to himself and thinks he's being really clever because he tr he tricked the um, billy goat into telling him about his big brother. And so then the big brother comes along and then um, he has a little rhyme. He says every time, I love goat, let me count the ways, goat benedict with hollandaise. So you got some good rhyming in here too. Good vocabulary. Vo good vocabulary. Um and then this billy goat convinces him to wait for the next brother because he's even bigger. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to the next um, billy goat and the troll's <laughs> like, wow, you're really big. And then there's a surprise ending. <laughs> and you see the troll going flying through the air. So just a different take on the story. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um I, I love the um, vocabulary in the book. Um, so I think um, your kindergartners, first graders would love this one. Yeah. What did you think, Sherry? <laughs> well, I, I love this pairing. I love 
um, Mac Barnett and John Classen, who did the uh, oh. Where Is My Hat? Yes. <laughs> this Is mm-hmm. Not My Hat, that whole series. Um, so, like, visually, it's really funny. I love this mm-hmm. kind of Muppety look going on yeah. with him. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the page where the language is just so funny, where he talks about um, the troll used a filthy fingernail to scrape the wax out of his ears. All he'd eaten lately was a leather boot and some goop he'd found in his belly button. (laughs) So it's gross. It's funny. I think um, like older preschoolers and grade schoolers are just going to howl at this book. Right. And like you said, like the different ways that he describes liking to eat. Mm-hmm. Goat, like he talks about goat escargot, which yes. is goat with snails. Um, I think kids are going to get some really fun vocabulary out of this. Mm-hmm. I just love, it. you know, and sometimes, sometimes their books are hit and miss. Like there were some recently. I think the thing from the sky, or it fell from no, the thing from the sky. Mm-hmm. I really liked that one, but it was a little abstract. Mm-hmm. Whereas this feels very accessible, and I think like. Maybe with some kids, like you can read them the simpler version mm-hmm. first, and right. then, yeah, give them this. <laughs> yes, yeah, you could do a whole series about, um, yeah, the different fables and fairy tales right. and how there's different versions, and you could include this one mm-hmm. and do a couple of different Billy Goat's graph and talk about the differences between the two. So yeah, um, or as many as you read. Um, And then, I mean, if you're working with kindergarten and first graders, they can write their own stories after that (laughs) and do their own versions. Um, Which would be totally fun. And so, yes. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It was, um, I wasn't expecting the ending, so it was pretty (laughs) funny to me. So, um, yes, I really just thought it was um, a great story and just a little bit of a different um, take on it. But again, the illustrations and the covers, they're a little darker, mm-hmm. you know, so, um, you know, just keep that in mind. Make sure your, your, your spot is well lit where you're, <laughs> right. you're reading it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, great. those muted colors are gorgeous, but they are sometimes hard to see. Yeah. And this, like, their stuff really strikes me as books that adults can enjoy, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. With that humor. Mm-hmm. Which is good because I can imagine a child wanting to read this over and over and over again. <laughs> right. <laughs> you might as well like it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, good. I, thank you for showing, sharing that one with me. Oh, you bet. Well, I've got another one I'm super excited about, and this is Firefighter Flow. Um, this is by Andrea Zimmerman and Dan Yaccarino, and they've done a bunch of books. Um, well, not a bunch, but they've done Trashy Town, <laughs> yes, which I is like it. a... It's probably 15 or 20 years old by now, but it's a big story time yes. mm-hmm. um, staple. And then I think they did Smashy Town after that, mm-hmm. which we might have done for a picture book yes, chat. Yes, I think we did. Um, I'm excited to see that this might be a series because there's this arm in the corner with a little one that says Big Jobs, Bold Women. Yes. So I'm hoping I'm there's going to be about that. Yes. <laughs> like a whole bunch of these. Mm-hmm. But um, right off, I love kind of the comic book look of this. I like his spots being kind of um the polka say, dots instead yeah. of just random yeah. spots yeah um, your dalmatian's got yes. kind of that um pop art look to yeah. him i love just the simple lines of this and that it i just it's something that you can see from far away mm-hmm. i think it's great but like let's get into the story um hey yo firefighter flow you're a hero you're a pro so you've got some fun rhyming Last night at the fire station with the jingly jang, the telephone rang. And so you see everybody waking up. I love that we've got a diverse crew of firefighters. Um, The brightness of the pictures, I love. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I love the patterns of their pajamas, and I love this Mm cross-direction thing. I think visually there's some really fun Mm -hmm. stuff going on. Yes. And so you read them riding off to the fire. There's... Tons of opportunity for fun sounds like clang, 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 flash, 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 woo. (laughs) Kids will love making the noise. (laughs) Screech with the tires. Yeah. So they'll love that. And I love that it indicates that it's nighttime with all of this Mm -hmm. dark space around. And they did a really good job that even though it's dark, the um, print really um, pops. Yeah. And I think they did a really nice job on that. So it's great for the reader, but it's also great for the kids to really notice the print. Yeah. 
definitely. I, you know, and in picture books, we look at how well the the text works with the illustrations, and I think these are a great example mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. right. You know, like the two really depend on each other. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could say Flo swung the axe and chopped through the cracks, and that would tell the story. But like, I love visually how you see like the strength of that and mm-hmm. everything. Um, this cross section here, I just like love this. Mm-hmm double spread um yes. the window smashed smashed the ceiling crashed crash so lots of action of course she saves the day she's got the scared pup i think this is great what did you think about it mary ellen oh i loved it and you know fire fighters um that's uh, fire trucks are always a big draw for preschoolers <laughs> yes in the past we've had the fire fighters come and we've had firemen come and talk to the kids um so this would be a great book to use with that if you're a child care and you have the firefighters coming um, just for you know to talk to the kids this would be a great book to use um, it would be a great book to use in um, a unit about um, community workers yes and so um, so yeah I think you could use this in a lot of ways and just about occupations mm-hmm. in general so it's a nice way to just put it out there. And I love that the main character that they're talking about is female. Yeah. And, and a person of color. So mm-hmm. um, it just, um, I think it hits a lot of check marks in my book for what makes a really good book and um, what's entertaining to preschoolers. They will <laughs> love this. I mean. Definitely. So, so some of the th- nuances that we pick up on as adults um they're just going to say, I love that book, which is great. <laughs> yeah. So, And I'm really excited that it's going to be a series. Yeah, me too. Can't mm-hmm. wait for the next one. Yeah. We'll share it here. Yes. <laughs> picture book chat. <laughs> yes, we will. So, And I love that it all rhymes. So, mm-hmm. um, again, you're working on some language and literacy skills too. So, Yeah. You yeah. think strictly preschool on this? I would say preschool, kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good age. I mean, there's always variations in the ages, just depending on your child. But yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so well, great. Yes, so there's the ISBN to scan for that one. Yes, and another fun set of books, Sherry. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're for so welcome. Them with them. <laughs> well, always fun. Thank you for joining us for Picture Book Chat today. We hope you enjoyed our stories, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed today's topic and want to be notified of upcoming episodes, please like and subscribe. To learn more about Spokane County Library District, our programs, resources, and services, you can go to scld.org.